Hey guys and welcome to this video on the Windows 10 Autopilot admin experience. In this video we're going to quickly go through just how easy it is to enroll uh, devices within the service that's uh, retrofitted devices either through uh, CSV export or from OEM hardware uh, manufacturers giving you those hardware IDs. So first off we have to log on to the Microsoft Store for Business. If you haven't already registered just go to the, the URL and log in with well, a global admin uh, with your tenant. As you can see, this one's doing it now. And uh, there's a picture of a very gorgeous gentleman there. <laughs> so we just log in. Of course, we will read all the agreement information, accept it, uh, and we'll just skim through it. I'm sure there's all sorts of stuff in there that uh, I'm agreeing to, but yeah, we'll carry on. So this will then set up the uh, store for business if you haven't already set it up. If you already have it uh, as part of your enterprise, then you'll just log in as normal. Um, this will just take a few moments to spin up. And as you'll see, your enterprise name will appear, or your tenant name will appear. Uh, click on it. And then we just need to go down to uh, device management. Uh, and uh, devices, all sorts of things in here. That, yeah, great. So previously, uh, I've um, got the hardware ID from the virtual machine from my previous video. Um, there's a script that will generate a CSV file. You can do this off of multiple machines. If you've got your OEM providing the information, then they can provide you it by email by however um, and then you can import this on mass into this environment so here's the CSV file that will read it give it a name for the deployment group so you can have separate groups that pretty much like SCCM has those kind of groups uh, it doesn't really matter it's just a batch import so it will, it will say it's processing but literally it's only one line so it just go to refresh and here we go this is the virtual machine it'll give you the show number and the product ID and the date added, obviously. And you can filter them by groups should you wish to. Um, so what we do now need to do is assign an auto deployment policy. So we're going to just create one now. And as you can see here, you can give it a name. Uh, there's some pre-deployed or predefined features, skipping Cortana, OEM registration, joining into Azure AD and logging in with your Azure AD at um, so, you know, branding. Again, we're going to skip the privacy settings and we're going to say, well, local administration creation. Pretty good because it starts people fiddling and the temptation to install all sorts of stuff on those devices that are yours and not the end users. So, again, it takes a few seconds, it's done. We apply the, apply the, the um, policy. Again, it will say processing, but again, just click the refresh. And that's it, you're done. And that's it, all done. So any policies that you've got set up in Intune, Airwatch, or whatever you, flavor of MGM you have, will now happen. The user needs to power it on, plug it on the internet, and it's done. Uh, please subscribe, like if you uh, like. Share this as well, please. And uh, yeah, 